Class is in session. The professor is in. What's up, y'all? Today we're going to look at Jerry the King Lawler Hall of Fame Edition at six star. As you can see, mine has two hollow stars. He is a chaotic showboat. I do have both of his gears. Purple gems do 50% more damage, and the reinforced gems do 100% damage. And we are going to run them with the gold gear. Gold, gold, gold. Taking a look at his strap, he has a Fury 2 and two sets of them on, so that's 40% all gem damage times 2, plus the 20% on the strap. He also has superior tech skill plate. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, you're going to make seven red gems into yellow gems at the end of your turn. Now, one thing to note, uh, the belly-to-back suplex, his six-star move, it only gives about 10k damage per reinforced gem, and Lawler only makes 21 of them, and buffing it with all of the proper trainers and everything, you're looking at maybe 25 to 30k per, so you're looking at five to 600,000 damage um, for an eight um, MP move, not really worth it. So that's why we're gonna stick with this move set right here. The finisher, dealing 200k damage, choosing a five by three area to swap into purple gems. The run and drop kick, 100k damage, swap a 4x2 area randomly into yellows. And the body slam, dealing 115 or so k damage, choosing 7x3 area to make into reinforced gems. And what you'll notice about my trainers is that I don't actually have the most important one, which is Hall of Fame Yokozuna, which adds another 100% uh, damage for the reinforced gems. So I am going to buff the gems as much as I possibly can, the purple gems. So start with purple moves, and then I'm gonna go with Seth, King, Macho, and Motu Ray. So let's run this man against Hall of Fame Undertaker. This is the five-star Undertaker. The six-star match took a lot longer, although I was able to win it. So in feuds, I was hitting between two and two and a half million once you could get his moves put on the board. Now the problem with Lawler, as you can see, is that you will get this running drop kick off in feuds turn one, but because it is a four by two, you're gonna cascade, and it is going to cause your turn to end, and someone like The Undertaker, who has a sub, is going to be able to hit his sub. That's just the way it goes. So your only goal at this point is basically just to knock out as many of his sub gems as possible so that way they don't turn into blast gems. And then with the perks you'll be able to load up his moves pretty quick and that way you can see his big bang move. So of course Undertaker's going to get a big hit, take out some of these red gems for him. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the body slam and make some reinforce. And what you're going to see on the board is you're going to pick an area on the board that has either in the left lane or the right lane a purple gem. And that way we can get some extra for this 5x3. You can see that I'm going to put it right in the middle five, so that way it hits both on the right and the left. I have a purple gem, so a little bit extra on both sides. And this is going to hit for about 50k for the first round and 40k for the second round. Got myself a nice cascade at the end, 2.2 million. So not bad damage at all, but in a feud, other guys are going to kick out of that. So it's going to take you a few rounds to to win with Lawler, but serviceable, sure, and with the amount of tokens that Scopely's been given out lately, not a bad option to bring up, especially if you got Yokozuna and his two gears. Hope you'd enjoyed. Thanks so much. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all soon.